walking and talking tips. Walking with someone makes the experience more fun. Now that lockdown is easing, we can begin to increase the number of times we walk each week. If you are walking with someone who has a hearing loss, you can make communication easier by following these tips. Hearing loss is experienced by over 1 million people in Scotland, so these tips can be used many times. Be smart and be kind. Ask the person if they have a preferred side for you to walk on. This can really help to make conversation easier. Make sure they can see your mouth clearly, although with two metres distance, this can be tricky. Try to choose a quiet place to walk. Background noise can cause problems. Try to avoid sunlight shining directly on your face as it makes it harder to lip read. Walking in pairs is much better than walking in larger groups. So in this way, current restrictions can actually help. Just speak in a normal voice and at your normal volume but try to speak clearly. Raising your voice makes word patterns more difficult to understand. Here are some tips on what to take with you on your walk. Consider bringing things you may need. For example, hand sanitizer, a face covering, and a contactless payment option. Consider exercising at less busy times and avoiding hot spots. Respect other path users. Please give priority to older people, people with poor mobility, visually impaired people and people in wheelchairs. When visiting Scotland's outdoors, please follow the Scottish Outdoor Access Code, which is designed to keep us safe and protect the environment. Respect the interests of other people. Care for the environment. Take responsibility for your own actions. Visit the Scottish Outdoor Access Code website for more information. Deaf Scotland thanks Paths for All for the grant which funds our project to promote walking and cycling using inclusive communication.